Before we get started setting the ignition timing, there are a few things we need to do in preparation for this process. First step is we need to know what the instructions are. How do we put this thing in base timing mode? What are the timing specs on it? Normally all that stuff will be found under the hood here on an emissions decal. Unfortunately, this Honda Civic is 20 something years old. It's missing the decal on it. But I've pulled up the information for you in the repair manual. I'll pop it up on the screen so you can see it. Uh, ignition timing should be set to 16 degrees before top dead center. That's step one. Step two, we need to put this in base timing mode. There'll be a blue connector underneath the passenger side of the dashboard. There's a brown and a green wire that need to be jumped. I have a jumper wire set up for that, but you can also use a paper clip. That'll work just fine if you don't have a little jumper wire set up like I do. Third step we need to do, we need to check our timing marks. Sometimes these cars, especially when they get old like this, you're not going to be able to see the timing marks on there. You might need to take a crayon and color in the slot, uh, put a dab of paint or something like that. So we need to visually inspect the crankshaft to see if the timing marks are visible, because if we can't see them, there's no point in trying to put a timing light on. So I'll pop this up on the screen here and show you what these timing marks look like before we get started. You'll see there's a red mark. The red mark is going to indicate the ignition timing. That's 16 degrees before top dead center. There are a couple of white lines on the outside of the red line that gives you a variation, a little range there. They say plus or minus two degrees. The other line you're gonna see on there, which is a small distance away, is gonna be an individual white line. That white line is top dead center for cylinder number one. 